Heute ist ein guter Tag. Today is a good day because we're driving towards the Alps. The weather is not the best, so we don't see a lot of mountains yet. But that will change soon because we're going to Garmisch-Partenkirchen to visit Nick Nagel. This Nick Nagel has a very interesting workshop and does also work on many different projects. And what he does exactly, that we'll find out today. And I will experience it for the first time myself. So stay tuned, it will be exciting. Finally, we've arrived at Nagel. There is a huge sign, marketing agency. It just looks like my dream workshop in the middle of Garmisch-Partenkirchen. Here's a huge garage door and a Vespa in front of it. So let's take a look at what this marketing agency is all about. Now we're inside the sacred halls, and I have to say, the way up here would be enough material for a standalone episode. We'll show you that later, but for now, he's sitting next to me, the master himself, Nick Nagel. Please introduce yourself and tell me why I'm here. As you just said, I'm Nick Nagel. At the moment we're in my marketing agency, the foundation of everything about my brand Nagel. The basis to all of what is around me rum or um the firma Nagel rund rum gibt. Also mit dem Roller is Everything started with the scooter, to be more specific, with the Vespa. We're always talking about Vespa. In 1988, at the age of 15, I got my first broken Vespa, and I got told if I repaired, I'd be allowed to do my driver's license. That's how I got into the scooter scene. What is this agency? What did you learn so that you now have your own marketing agency? I first learned font paints and graphic designer, quite old school, without any kind of PC. We used to paint cars and stuff directly. That's the origin story of this hobby, this good developed hobby towards pinstriping and graphic design. The agency itself, of course, grew out of the graphic design field. Here's something that I find very appealing. Usually when I think about a marketing agency, I think about a modern, clean look and everybody sits in front of an Apple computer. But here we have a lot more than that and a lot more than just a few PCs. Here we also have tools and personal things. And some of that is right in front of us. We prepared a few pinstriping colors and a helmet. Basically, everything I do on the side of the classic marketing agency. These are basically things that specific my field of work. So, line vehicles, paint signs, paint cars, paint helmets, and so on. I think that's really cool. You have to show me that, of course. How are things with custom projects? Do they start in a workshop or do they start here and you start planning and drawing things? Basically, I start planning and drawing here. First, more scribbles on paper. Then I continue on the iPad and afterwards I look at it on the PC. I once had the idea to build a Evil Nevil themed concept custom, but I found out that someone else has had that idea already and converted it super nicely. And this person, of course, was Nick. And that's the scooter, which we see here on the iPad. Where is that scooter at the moment? The scooter is in a workshop and we could take a look at it now. standing in front of my personal favorite in your collection, the Evil Nevil, a small frame drag star or something. How did you come up with the idea to build something like that? I actually started building in the early 90s. That long ago? That long ago. 
At the time, the roller zentrale built one in green, and I thought, I want that too. Until 2018, it was somewhere in my basement, until about two years ago, when I decided to make the Evil Knievel out of it. Wait a minute, you had this thing for 28 years in your garage? Exactly. Incredible. Have you participated in any races with the scooter? Once. Once. But you hopefully defeated the Rollerzentrale. Uh, no. Well, at least you're honest. Yeah. Okay, but you recently did the paint job. The paint is new. It used to be orange, but everything else, like the engine, is from the early 90s. The first time I showed it was at the scooter made in Reisting, and I think that was about 92 or 93, something like that. Is that something you're doing most of the time here in the workshop, custom rebuilds, or are you doing everyday things as well? Basically, we're only doing rebuilds in this workshop, not just for Vespa, but all two wheelers. We're not doing tire changes or oil services, the typical workshop stuff, you know, just conversions on two wheelers. And what kind of two-wheelers do you focus on? Specific brands? The focus mainly on Vespa, but also BMW. BMW mainly because there was a BMW motorcycle meeting in Garmisch for about 20 years. Other than that, of course, we also work on Hondas and other brands. But the reason this workshop came to life is the Vespa. What is the share of Vespa customers today in your workshop? I would say about 20 to 30 percent. How long does one project take? What do I have to expect? Usually, I would say you have to expect around half a year for each project. In our workshop, we have the one in the top left corner, the white one, a white lightning. It was almost finished, but the owner wanted to have a white light wing and white rims. But we couldn't find them in those dimensions anywhere. The rest is just like the drawing. The rest is so we are after zeichnung. Okay. Okay. Here we have the opposite of the custom bike, a restored scooter. But this is a newbie, right? You're just starting with it? That's not the newbie. This is one of mine. But after 20 years, it's finally the time to give it some love. If you own this one for such a long time, how did you get your hands on it? That's a bit weird. At the age of 17 or 18, I was following a junk container because I spotted this license plate and the rear. Okay. I was following him. Then I thought, there might be a Vespa inside. So I was following him onto the recycling center. And as he stopped, I asked him if I could take a look at the load. Then I shot for the first time, a Vespa. I was asking him if I could have it or if I could buy it off. But he was just happy if I take it with me. Then three of us got the scooter out of this container. My dad and I picked it up with his trailer and then we saw on the side hatch there's everything inside, papers, the latest registration certificates. In Italian as well? In Italian as well. Incredible. Keys, spare battery, tools, the original tools. Then we looked it up because I somehow got the feeling that this looks weird for a GS and it turned out that this is a VS1. That's insane. I don't even know the last time I saw a VS1. It's definitely rare. An incredible collector's item. And to get that out of a junk container with papers, 
<laughs> That's just mad. Hot container to team. Irre. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't give that one away. No. Just because of the backstory. Servus! Hello? Hi. Hello. Yes, go. Hello. What's your name? Luzi. So you're the mechanic that realizes all the conversions that Nick comes up with? Exactly. Most of the time, I do those custom conversions. For all the Vespa conversions, we have our Vespa specialist, Tranky. And all the other stuff, like BMW, that's my field of work. Okay, very nice. For how long have you been doing this? I'm working here since three years, but originally I come from the car scene, US cars. Uh, US car scene and so. I don't want to distract you from your work any longer. Thank you, and see you soon. Have a good one. Bye. Bye. We already found out that you have a marketing agency and that it is really time consuming. Luzi is working here, but you also have your own projects and you have your private place for that, right? Exactly. Can we take a look at that? With pleasure. All right, let's drive over to Nick's private garage. Now, this is your area, only for your projects and without any customers. True. Nice. This is just like paradise. And over there is your next project, right? Yeah, I'm on it from time to time. It's a sprint with a sidecar. That's my current project. Ah, it's the sidecar we saw earlier in your agency? Yes, it was only in the agency because I just painted lines on it yesterday. Okay, and what's this theme about Rumble in Brighton? 1964, the rockers took on the mods. Without any result. At least, no reasonable result. You mean no clear winner? No clear winner. That was so legendary in my opinion that the whole scene kind of merged from that. How it is now or how it was years ago. But that means you're also somewhat a cross-border commuter. You have this rock and roll vibe and, well, you're not directly a mod. Exactly, yeah, not directly a mod. But you started as a scooter boy. Of course. There's another project. Actually, this is no project because it's finished. Of course, I think that's super cool. A hot rod. Yes. When did you build that? I finished it exactly 10 years ago. Okay. Well, actually a project like that is never finished. Every time I look at it, I say to myself, I could do that and I could do that. What kind of engine is inside there? There's a 455 Oldsmobile big block inside. Long run durability? Not tested. Come over. You'll have to film inside here. That's amazing. Look at these old school seats. Out of what material is the steering wheel? The steering wheel is out of a steel ring with homemade straps. Okay. So the whole steering column is such a self-made story from any round iron and bearings. Cool, what's that? That's the gear shift selector. This is an automatic, but inside I didn't have space for the lever. So I put the whole thing outside. Okay, nice. But you don't have to get out to shift gears, do you? No, I don't have to. My arm's long enough. Over there is another scooter collection. Can we quickly take a look at this? Yeah, so in the front are, of course, the ones I drive from time to time over the year. So I don't have to get them all out and back inside. That's why they're here. Here we have a classic 50s with a round steering. This is an original paint from Walter Maurer design. He painted a few PXs. He's also the guy who designed this red, white, blue BMW M1 logo. The one BMW is still using today. Exactly. We've seen it earlier on the white lightning, I think. Exactly. You could see the stripes. And those are the ones designed by this Walter Maurer. Okay. And he used to paint a small Vespa series. 
That's of course another sick piece in this collection. Then there is a V31, a rally and a sprint. That's it with the introduction of Nick Nagel and Nagel Motors. I have to say, everything was very exciting what I've seen here. Today was a real blockbuster with your workshop, your agency and everything else we've seen. You learned everything from scratch. You learned font painter, you started to screw, you started doing so many different things. And additionally, you also founded your own marketing agency. Incredible, a huge chapeau from my side. And thank you so much for hosting us. Thanks for your visit. I almost envy you a little bit, not just because you have Vespas and hot rods and stuff, but because you're located in one of the most beautiful places in Germany, in the middle of the Alps. It feels quite romantic here. I do have to think about a few things, I guess. I say goodbye to you, Nick, and to you guys. Please, press the bell, like this video, and subscribe to our channel. And stay tuned for the next time. Bye. Ciao.